Well, people, it turns out that the young 15-year-old or 14-year-old little Tay is not dead. They're saying that uh, this was all a hoax. Um, we we don't have we not, we don't know for certainty uh, what this was about or how it happened, but what we can confirm now is that this young child is not dead. It says a day after rumors and uncertainty, rapper Lil Tay appears to be alive. TMZ reported that the teen rapper's family provided a statement saying that she is safe, following reports of her death based on a post shared to her Instagram August 9th. The statement read, "The statement reads." I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive, but I completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. All day yesterday, I was bombarded with endless heartbreaking and tearful phone calls from loved ones, all while trying to sort out this mess. Now, what mess? Now, what I'm hearing is that they were supposed to be having some type of cryptocurrency coming out. Uh, this day and they was doing this for clout to try to garner attention the original post reporting her death which has since been removed from her instagram account said that the outcome was unexpected and has left us all in shock it also reported that her brother had died following the post some people online expressed doubt about the veracity as her father and former manager would not confirm her death several police departments uh Contact, contacted by media outlets did not have reports of her death so it wasn't even reported to the police my Instagram account was compromised by a third party and used to spread jarring misinformation and rumors regarding me so I know that she didn't write that because most 14 year olds don't even talk like that so what I'm looking at is I don't even blame her I blame the adults that surround her to the point that even my name was wrong the statement continued it also clarified that her legal name is Tay Tahan, not Claire Hope, and, and had been widely used in, in, past, in past press coverage uh, of her. Following the Instagram post reporting her death, her father and her former manager, Henry Tangs, both said separately that they could not confirm that the teen star is passing. Tang told the Deadly Beast, given the complexities of the current circumstances, I am not at a point where I cannot definitively confirm or dismiss the legitimacy of the statement issued by the family. He elaborated in the TikTok post, Tyne's father declined to comment on whether or not his daughter was still alive, but it turns out that she is alive. Insider also reported that the Vancouver, the Vancouver Police Department had no reports of her death, and the Los Angeles Police Department told the publication that it, too, has no information of an investigation into the death of anyone named Claire Hope. Tian who, original, Tian, who was originally from Atlanta, Georgia, and later moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, first entered the public eye in 2018 with videos at her at the age of nine went viral. She had, she had been seen cursing, flaunting, so we all know that she was seen cursing, flaunting money, kicking cars, saying the N-word, doing all kinds of stuff, but there's also video right here that we can see where she's coached into saying certain things. Let's check that out and we'll come right back. Lil Tay be popping on YouTube right now. No, 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 no. What are you doing? You're gonna be like more ignorant. You have to be like, ooh, Lil Tay, Lil Tay out here. Wait, what did he say again? You still irrelevant like I said last time. <sighs> what, what do I say? So as you can see, all of this stuff is done for clout, and they're running this girl through the ringer, man. And like I told y'all, these corporations don't give a damn about children. Uh, this child is a minor, and they're endorsing and sponsoring this stuff. She just like the girl beat me outside, and then uh, remember her, and as she got older, she went and did her OnlyFans and made all this money. It's just a whole bunch of foolishness, man. All of this stuff is about money. And people will do anything, sell their soul. They will do anything for money. So now they're putting this child up here and they're coaching her to say all this foolishness, man, just to get money, man. So now so now they got her faking her death, her and the brother. So now it went worldwide, viral worldwide, and everybody's making videos about it, about this little girl, man. It's a sad thing, man, but I'm going to cut this video short here, man. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, man. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time, peace.